Birdsnap will be an iPhone app in the App Store, uh, and it also is a site, birdsnap.com. And so if you go to that site, what you'll see is you'll see 500 of the most common North American bird species, accompanied with the, the bird songs and then pictures of the birds out in, in the wild. It's a really exciting time to be working in computer vision and machine learning. And one of the things that's changed since when I sort of started working in this area is the explosion in images. So there are just so many photos that people are taking that there's this real need to kind of figure out automatically what's happening within those photos. So you can do things like search through photo collections or organize photo collections or kind of figure out what's there, what it, what it is that you're looking at. And that's sort of the sum of the stuff that we do for LeashNap and, and BirdSnap. So when we started designing the BirdSnap app, we wanted to do something that we thought was very different from what had been done before. We wanted to see whether or not we could use computer vision and machine learning technology to automatically generate a field guide. So in other words, field guides are usually constructed by hand, where people go in and they write all the text and they decide how they're going to lay out the pages and they decide on sort of what order the species are going to be shown in. And what we wanted to do is to see whether or not we could use this technology to automatically lay this out in such a way that we could almost teach people how to recognize different species of birds. So to do visual recognition, either with the, the app or the website, you, you take a picture. Uh, when you're using the app, you would take the picture directly with your phone. Or if you're using the website, you may have a, a nice camera, um, and you've taken the picture and you've downloaded it to your computer. But in either case, um, the image is uploaded to our servers, and we also ask the user to either tap or click on the, um, the head and the tail of the bird. And then our, our algorithms find all, all the different parts of the bird, the beak, the eye, the wings, the, the legs, the tail, and extract features from those different parts of the bird that then the machine learning algorithms use to recognize the species. So the first thing is that, uh, is that we automatically figure out visually similar species so that the user can kind of nail down what species they're looking at. The second thing that we do is we um, given visually similar species, we can show automatically where they should look on the bird to differentiate them. So if one bird has a yellow beak and the other has a black beak, we'll highlight that. And this is done fully automatically. There's, there's no user in the loop, right? Our algorithms figure this out automatically. And then the third thing that we do as part of the visual recognition is we analyze sightings data to figure out what the likelihood is that a particular species is at a place in the United States on a particular date. And we use this to better the recognition algorithms. So for instance, we know what all the bird species are in New York today, and we know what all the bird species will be in, say, San Francisco in December next year. Here's the BirdSnap website. And um, in terms of being location aware, right now it's, it's showing all the birds of the United States. So this is the, fur, the full set of 500 birds around a wheel here. You can, you can scroll through them and look at their images. And actually, um, you can also hear them. It's sort of the golden age. We've never had this sort of data, and we've never had this sort of demand to be able to take this incredible collection, these trillions of images that are being f acquired, and to be able to use technology, computer vision and machine learning, to organize this data in some useful way.